Hello everyone, Greg Wilkins here on Sunday, January 17th, 2021 for today's edition of the Song of the Day devotional. Today's devotional is entitled, Got to Give Them Something. Myra Jones was a very worried mother. You see, her son Michael slipped into a coma and while he was in the midst of the coma, his kidneys shut down. And so he was put on dialysis while he was in the coma. He was in the coma for a few weeks. He finally did come out of the coma, but his kidneys functioned, did not recover. So he needed a transplant. He was already put on the list while he was in the coma. And his mother was just worried that he was, he's too young, she felt, and that his life was ruined and that he's going to live a tough life have, having to be on dialysis and, suffer, and recovering from a coma and all that stuff. But out of nowhere, a couple of weeks later, an anonymous donor came forth to give a kidney. She was excited and nervous at the same time. He had to go through the final testing to make sure it was a complete match. And it was. So the surgery went through and Michael got his new kidney. Michael had the option to reach out to the donor family or the donor himself if he would like to. So the transplant coordinator gave him the address, but not the name to get in contact with the donor. He did so, wrote him a letter saying thank you and I really appreciate your sacrifice. Turns out that the donor lived about two miles away and without, hesita without hesitation, the donor wrote back saying you're very welcome, this is the least I could do. And he added his name at the bottom of the note, Jason Williams. And when Myra and her son Michael were well enough. They went down to his house and met his family. And when they opened the door, Myra had tears in her eyes. And the mother said, can I help you? And Myra, all Myra could say is that you saved my son's life. Thank you so much. And she ran and gave all of them a hug. And Jason and Michael became good friends. They even were best men at each other's weddings because of this connection. Today's song of the day to go with the devotional is entitled Hymn of Praise, featuring Julia McMillan and Daniel Johnson by William McDowell. And it reminds me of a time where Jesus came down from heaven, seeing the condition this world was in, seeing the condition we were all in, and he gave his life for us. He sacrificed his life so that we might have the right to eternal life so that we might have life and live it more abundantly, that we have a better life. He gave his life for us so that we can live again. And the least we can do is give him the best praise we can, to give him a thank you, to give him a shout, to give him the fruit of our lips, to lift up our hands in celebration. Let him know that, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I appreciate you. Lord, I love you for what you've done for us. And he did it for the love. So the least we can give them is our praise. So on today, I challenge you, no matter what you're going through, no matter what your day was like yesterday, no matter what you're facing, just give God a thank you. Give him a shout of praise because he's able to meet your need no matter where you are. And even if he doesn't do it when you want him to, he is still able and he still will do it. He's able to meet you where you are to meet who's able to lift you up out of wherever you have been. No matter how big the situation is, no matter how deep the hole may be, God can bring you out of it. Just give him a praise in advance of whatever you need on today. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you and we love you. We adore you for who you are. We thank you and give you praise right now where we are in the midst of where we are, no matter what it is. We just want to say thank you on today. Thank you for a new day. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. And we love you and we appreciate you on this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Got quite a few birthday shout outs on today. Happy birthday to some former high school classmates of mine. Happy birthday to Shannon Lenford and to Matthew Lauder. I hope you both are doing well. Happy birthday to a former band parent. Happy birthday to Cora Hodge. Happy birthday to uh, another high school classmate, a couple years behind me. Happy birthday, Lee Dinamore. Happy birthday to 
Tracy Spittle, a very, very blessed friend and the wife of Tom Spittle, who was my instructor for my JAWS program when I was at the South Carolina Commission for the Blind. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have a very blessed birthday. If anybody else has any birthday shout outs you would like to give, or any song requests or comments in general, or if you have a performance you would like to submit to be used as the song of the day, you may do so by leaving me a message in the video underneath this video, whether it be you watching on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, or on or on Facebook. I already said Facebook, <laughs> but on Messenger, or if I tweet it to you or send it to you by Twitter by uh, text, I said I should say. Or you can leave me a note on Facebook Messenger and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. I thank you all for your support in this devotional ministry. I thank you all for your watching today. I hope you enjoy today's devotional and the song following it. I hope it blesses you and I hope it lifts you up on today. And I hope you are able to be blessed by it and every other devotional and song that has happened so far. I love you all. I really appreciate you for your support. And I hope you enjoy today's song of the day. Hymn of Praise by William McDowell, featuring Julia McMillan and Daniel Johnson. God bless.